picture a place where extraordinary wishes come true and where only a small select circle of exclusive members gain access. There's no limit to what luxury could mean to different people. How far can the imagination reach if the sky is the limit? And everything, simply everything, is possible. I'm really happy that we made this tour to give you a little bit of an impression uh, uh, how the neighborhood looks like. You will definitely enjoy the property. I'm uh, pretty positive. This looks very nice. What if we take you to the summit of absolute exclusivity? We are called the most expensive uh, designer in the world. But if uh, you can afford us, I assure you we are not expensive. Accompany us on a journey to the birthplace of the most luxurious dreams and meet the people who make them a reality. At the end of the day, we build toys. Whatever they are, whatever size they are, they're toys. And the owners are really, you know, they like to play with their toys. The Circle of Gentlemen, Regal Things for Men. Bespoke footwear, masterfully crafted by hand. A rarity these days, but not extinct. Once you've gone for a tailored shoe, you'll never come back. It stays with you and brings forth a certain passion. A decadent enthusiasm that comes with a price. These are produced in Budapest. Every pair is completely one of a kind, handmade by a master of his craft. The most expensive men's shoes in Europe are produced from the most dazzling leathers in the world. Hand manufacturing is so important with quarter leather because each piece is completely different when it comes to us. From start to finish, shell quarter takes six months and it's approximately 130 different steps. It's here that the classic shoe from Budapest is lovingly handcrafted into existence. The high brass point at the front, the typical perforation, a wingtip, all this combines to personify the Budapest shoe. A bespoke shoe is an investment which rewards for decades. These shoes develop a wonderful patina. They actually age splendidly. Budapest is the birthplace of the shoemakers, with arguably the world's most famous custom-made shoes. Here, a true man of the world will find the noblest bespoke footwear. The German brand's tail stretches as far back as the year 1879. During this epoch, Heinrich Dinkelacker established the first shoe factory in all of southern Germany. A century later, production was shifted to Budapest. Anyone who values their appearance highly pairs their outfit with an according shoe. And this is the Budapest shoe. There is none superior. The bespoke atelier awaits us in the province of Budafok. Each year, around 10,000 custom kicks leave the factory to meet their new lovers. Here, an apex of quality leathers arises from the planet's finest tanneries. These include delights such as buffalo calf from Italy, fine calf suede from France, or sturdy water buffalo from Germany. We have around 40 shoemakers in our manufactory. However, each craftsman only handles two to three tasks in the entire process, tasks he or she is specialized in. Before our shoes are ready to wear, they've already walked a long path during the manufacturing. To be concise, the bespoke shoe consists of 70 individual parts, combined during 300 work steps. Prices for a bespoke shoe begin at one and a half thousand euro. Once we've created a tailored loafer, it usually lasts 20 years, we can create multiple pairs from this one stencil. Many people have problem feet and need a custom fit. Some simply already have a tailored suit and want a matching shoe. Bespoke kicks are probably not for the impatient. Waiting time, six months. The iconic loafer has been a staple of classic business style since time immemorial. The renaissance of bespoke footwear, custom cobbled by masters of their craft, guarantee the zenith of comfort. Optionally, choose your own design from the lavish leather selection. Most clients tend to simply want business lasts. They want the complete package. They want to have the choice. They say they have shoes, but they want them in differing leather variants, in varying sole types. You are part of the process. You can decide which direction we go in. The base design, the actual shoe, what should it be, what color. It's great fun to influence the process. 
Customers begin to get a first glimpse of their own individually tailored shoe when they talk to the specialist advisors in the Berlin workshop. Christoph Renner is a master shoemaker in the third generation who began his training around 30 years ago. The difference between tailor-made and mass-produced shoes is very obvious. An industry shoe always has a certain sense of standardization. This hypothetical foot does not actually exist. There is no foot that perfectly fits this average measurement. That means that any mass-produced shoe is essentially a compromise. As the governing craftsman, he commands all work steps, from the lasts to the last step. And yet the expert measures out the client's feet, analyzes weak spots, profiles their foot scintillatingly, and here from creates the lasts. Here we can clearly see that the feet are quite different. This one is more tapered, but also therefore more lowered here. The vaults are shaped slightly differently, and the toe lengths are somewhat varied. A man of business is the customer. The skilled artisan has made the measurements and finishes the lasts, from which to make manifest the luxury loafers. A classic Budapest loafer in finest horse leather. This is the last. This one used to be a workpiece that we filled and then filed down to shape. Now the measurements are being checked and then reworked until the shoe finally fits the last, and therefore the shape of the foot. And when the last is finished, it goes down into the manufacturing in Budapest. And that is where our shoemakers finish the custom-made shoe for our clients, with exactly this last. Back in Budapest, the birthplace of the cobblers, the shoemakers learned their craft from a traveling German artisan in 1834, when Robert Knöffel influenced bespoke cobbling throughout all of Europe with his textbooks. The characteristic perforated pattern, however, has its roots in the Scottish marshes. Well, originally the Budapest pattern comes from the Scottish highlands. There, at least so the legend says, the Scottish marsh farmers would perforate the front of their shoes in order to allow the water to drain. Somewhere in time the holes became a decorative aspect, and in the 19th century this design found its way to Budapest. These Budapest shoemakers then combined this originally British design with their Hungarian lasts to create something entirely new. During production of the classic Budapest, an entire step is set aside just for the broguing, decoratively perforating the wingtips. In conclusion, the individual leather parts are stitched together. Every craftsman receives in-depth training for at least three work steps. And so one pair of these bespoke wonders leaves the factory a day, after 300 lovingly concluded steps. This pair sports a horse leather upper and the heftiest price tag brought forth by the atelier. You immediately see it. This could become a shoe. The separate parts are all glued together and eventually soon. The eyelets are set and the inner lining inserted. Supporters are added in between to ensure maximum product life and comfort. The stellar nature of the horse leather's quality guarantees the shoe's longevity. As the imperative, tough workhorses are a rarity nowadays. The leather is particularly sought after. Our exclusive raw hides come from Chicago. Very few are supplied by them. It is horse hide, which can be used meat side out. This way the pores close much better, and even after years of use you can polish the leather to a beautiful shine. Chicago, USA the birthplace of the finest leathers. The tannery in the family since four generations is one of the last vestiges of Cordovan shell production, which is named after an Andalusian tradition. A recipe for regal leather, a slice of fine hide, nourishing oils, and rich dyes. So the most important thing for Shell Corvin for us is the, is the traditional methods that we use. So the, the recipe that we use dates all the way back to 1905, which was 
a recipe that was developed by my great great grandfather and to today has remained unchanged so the same materials go in all the same processes Cordovan shell is typically sourced from the rear flanks of sturdy cold blood horses. The yield is relatively meager, with two A3 sized strips of leather springing forth per horse. Hand manufacturing or doing things by hand is so important with Cordovan leather because each piece is completely different when it comes to us. You know, each hide and each animal is a little bit different. So to do things by hand allows us to, to make things as uniform as possible because we can adjust for those, those slight variations or those differences in the hides or the products. Unlike calf leather, which places the scarred side upon display, the cordovan uses the fleshy part. The material's high fat content makes for unmatched water-repelling properties. It's robust nature for a security of shape, which also increases the wearing-in period. As we produce the cordovan, it is basically considered an organic tannage because it's all biodegradable, it's all part of natural you know, trees and everything that's regrown and, and can be biodegradable. The natural tanning process takes six months and considers the material's emblematic hallmarks. Vegetable tanning is, uh, is regarded as some of the finest leather in the world, uh, not only because it takes a long time and a lot of handwork typically goes into it, but also because it creates a product that feels very full and very dense and ages very beautifully. And not to mention the outrageously long lifespan Cordovan shoes sustain. Back to the city of bespoke shoemaking, the capital of Hungary. In today's times, veritable masters of the craft are few and far in between. From its seat in Budapest, the German family-run business releases 10,000 shoes a year. The lasts are cornerstone of every pair of finished loafers, a component of the utmost importance which has no place in the finished product and is instead saved as the cornerstone for future custom fits. The fabrication process has a rich tradition. The Romans were amongst the first to use a separate last for each foot. Once a prospective client has ordered a pair of bespoke shoes, his individual lasts are created, hand-tailored to a snug fit. Every shoe is handmade, 300 work steps per model, so we calculate 10 hours of work per pair. If we have machines that can support us in this, then of course we will employ them. But this is the truly beautiful thing. Everything is hand-sewn, hand-made. Then it's re-sewn for stability, for custom, comfortable fit and longevity. As a result, our shoes have 10 to 20 years more life. With the fall of the Roman Empire, the practice of individual lasts was also doomed to our collective unconsciousness. 17th century cobblers called upon symmetrical lasts to form their models. The wearing in period was correspondingly long and one must assume unpleasant. The shoe itself is made up of about 70 pieces, a few hundred nails and several meters of thread. And what is so special about this shoe is that the material is always of the highest quality available on the market. Halfway through the 19th century, the United States saw somewhat of a revolution shake up the shoe industry. The use of machinery to establish a series production method was ultimately the demise of the time-honed heritage of handwork. After the industrial revolution of the shoe in the 1960s, the shoe quickly became an affordable commodity, leaving only a small select bunch of artisans flying the flag of traditional craftsmanship, mainly in Eastern Europe. Back to Chicago, to one of the oldest tanneries in the United States of America. The family heritage is the world leader in the production of Shell Cordovan. The high quality constituent, so-called shells, are procured exclusively from equine hides. After the multiple month tanning process, these butts are passed through a splitting machine, which removes the hair side, leaving the shell. 
the last 100 years, we've made very few changes to any of the machines and the equipment. Really, the only thing is that we've changed is to make um, the equipment uh, drive-driven instead of belt-driven, just to make the products or the machines run more consistently. But otherwise, all the processes that were done by hand 100 years ago are still done by hand today. The folding machine, with the help of sharp blade rolls, ensures that the leather is shaved to an even, product-specific thickness. So shaving is one of the most critical operations in the, in the tanning process of, of shell cordovan. It's, it's where we remove all of the material that is sitting on top of the shell. So this is a very um, skilled operation because you can take off too much or not enough. Cool. So there's, there's very little margin for error. We have only three operators in the building that are, that are trained to shave. And since we're the only North American tannery that makes shell cordovan, there are three men in North America that can do that job. The actual yield per hide is relatively meager and therefore is treated with the utmost exclusivity. Cordovan shell is extremely sought after amongst European shoe manufacturers. In the Budapest-based craft house, the finest men's shoes are formed lovingly from shell cordovan. Here, the time-honed craft is still respected. Highest priority is paid to the most sumptuous materials. Each hand-sewn braided stitch hides two leather bands which serve as reinforcement. Not strictly necessary, but certainly to be expected for the price. While working with horse leather, we also process soles made from, for example, a tannery in Trier. These are soles, which really are almost water resistant. We even galvanize the sole with 168 brass nails. These sit along the main stress points and therefore minimize wear and tear. We create the heel cap from the same coarse tanned leather which shapes itself around the foot of the wearer. This allows maximum stability without decreasing comfort. We also have a cork midsole and the shoe is double soon. This obviously increases the product life drastically. The custom fit Cordovan Brogue requires one to part with 1800 euros. Just to compare with the 45 minutes required to create a typical mass-produced shoe, our bespoke beauties travel through 300 steps of handiwork from the beginning to end. The outer sole is formed from multiple layers, pride of place belonging to a sublayer of cork. This not only creates a softer, but also adaptable bed for the wearer's feet. Unchanged for 60 years, the classic Budapest shoe, triple soled, the high brass point at the front, the typical perforation, a wing tip, and Gibson lacing. All this combines to personify the Budapest shoe. True finesse is required when it comes to trimming the leftover leather. Back to Chicago's tannery of tradition. The suitability of a piece of leather is unfortunately not recognizable until after the process is complete. Therefore, those which do not make the cut end up as wallets, key fobs, or belts. Cordovan leather is the most supple leather available and is in demand practically everywhere. We've always tried to do specialty leathers working with special customers. And so now, over the years, products were added first for the shoe leathers and then for mechanical leathers and then on into the 30s and 40s when we began making sporting goods leather, particularly the leather like you saw today being made for the professional football for America. Once the tanning is complete, the leather is hand cured in specially concocted oil and is allowed 90 days to absorb the nourishing substance fully. So shell cordovan is a very specific part of of a hide that exists in equine animals only. So horses and mules and zebras, but no other, no other animals. So that's really the reason that we tan horse hides, because they, they specifically have this, this structure. It's, a, it's actually similar to a callus or a membrane that exists, it's inside the hide. So the reason it takes so long to tan is because that, that layer is so dense and we have to spend so much time to bring it out. So when you look at a piece of finished shell cordovan, you're actually looking at what would be the suede side of the leather and we have We've very carefully scraped away or shaved away all of the suede to leave only this very, very um, dense and shiny layer. The final process of glazing is responsible for the glossy sheen. So shell, shell is a tremendous advantage in footwear because it's, it's very dense, does not have a lot of stretch. 
So over time, it can take a lot of flexing and a lot of, a lot of work, and also uh, very abrasion resistant. So scuffs and, and, and marks can easily be repaired just through polishing. And then naturally, very water resistant due to its tight structure and also the high oil content. Any true connoisseur knows that the depth of color temperatures from mahogany over cognac to oxblood in amalgamation with a durable finish that lasts veritably sets these shoes apart from the masses. We return one last time to the German family-owned business's seat in Budapest. The bespoke piece is edging over the finish line. The artisan craft in the spectacular three-part sole the lavish six nails and brass point are only found here. Diligently hammered into place, the brass nails not only enhance the shoe optically, but also structurally. In a high quality, bespoke tailored shoe, you stand upon an insole, then a layer of cork, then the mid and then the outer sole. And each of these layers is made from naturally tanned leather which adapts around the foot of the wearer, meaning that the foot makes its own bed inside the shoe, making it extremely comfortable for the wearer. When dealing with a bespoke bell such as the Budapest Brogue, every part from heel to sole fulfills a certain function and must be placed accordingly. The result? A new luxury loafer the cobbler's claim will last decades. Every single custom-made kick is given its own serial number, with the cobbler placing his reputation upon the line to guarantee the quality, and is the calling card of the custom outfitters. The finishing touches after the ultimate quality check belong to the sole, a dye job and wax finish. Every shoe that leaves our workshop is personally signed by one of our master craftsmen. A date stamp tells us not just when each piece was made, but also who did the final quality check. Customers really appreciate this personal touch, to know the exact person responsible for their product. The Cordovan bootlet is the most decadent product in the bespoke range from Budapest. An on-foot Rolls-Royce for the proud sum of 1,800 euros. We have here a laced boot out of horse leather, with a wing and a small Budapest pattern. We need around 15 days to finish such a shoe. This includes around 10 to 15 hours of manual labor. Those short of patience would probably do well to avoid a bespoke pair. The wait is six months on average, and correspondingly, the German businessman's anticipation is at a stellar level. The lover of custom loafers has spared no expense here. The Cordovan kicks he's selected are practically top of the range at 1,800 euros, with another 500 for the lasts additionally. The lasts are the cornerstone of any high quality men's shoes. The bedrock from which once formed, multiple pairs of shoes are created. Any similarities to mass-produced shoes are eradicated with the first steps. My compliments, Mr. Renner. They're amazing. Once you go bespoke, you never go back. The hand-sewn men's shoes are meant to outlast their wearers, which justifies the exorbitant price. These shoes certainly justify their price. They accompany you for half of your life. It's important to care for them properly and allow them a rest here and there. With time, they will develop a glorious patina and actually become more beautiful. The noblest shoes for men of the world. These should also know, for optimal maintenance, it's wise to give one's footwear a 24-hour break now and then. Or hand them over to an expert who will, no lie, curate a tailored wellness program, including professional hand care. 
A true gentleman is incomplete without a regal shoe, and the latter must be cared for as is befitting of its quality and style. There are, of course, certain procedures for different models and materials, suede, compared to ordinary leather, or sporty shoes, which are not intended to be as shiny, finish-wise. Here we tend to work with more oils and wax. This gives us a lot more shine. Tailored shoes can really improve the way you carry yourself. With proper care, they'll become a lifelong companion.